What's up guys, Black Horse and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Stack Manager 2020 for stage number 5 of our Joe de Tala playthrough with Duke and Quick Step, a stage that will take us today from Mileto to Camellia Tello Silano, 212 kilometers for a mountain stage um, with a, uh, a downhill finish just after the Valley Curo de Montescuro. I swear I added syllables at the Valico de Montescuro, that's much better. Um, but it is with James Knox as third place of the GC that we're going to head into this stage. Hopefully we can maintain this position. If we can improve on it, then it would be absolutely glorious. Um, but with 70 downhill, I'm quite scared about that end of the stage. Uh, I'm extremely, extremely scared of a, of a guy called Vincenzo. Uh, but we shall see what happens. Miguel Angel Lopez, Simon Yates, and Jacob Fulsong are the three main favorites. No one is counting James Knox in the final bunch. Uh, so I think it's time to prove everyone wrong. And we're on the way. For this stage between uh, Mileto and Camellia Terro Silano, 212 kilometers, uh, an important stage for the GC, and it is with uh, a big ass smile that I'm seeing Fausto Massada in plus one, but mainly James Knox in plus two. Uh, hoping that James Knox can carry on on uh, his early form of this Giro. A lot of riders going for that early breakaway. Dylan Sunderland, Alexander Catterford, Martin Tuzvelt, Ignatas Konevalvas, James William, Mikkel Biak, Attila Valta, Salvatore Puccio, Simon Guglielmi, Jonathan Caicedo, uh, François Bidard, and Jano Hannen, Jaco Hannen, sorry. We've got Jasper Hansen and Larry Warburs in pursuit. That's going to be three riders from Major Dezer in the breakaway. Uh, should Larry Warburs and Zander Arme come back? Uh, but that Azure Desert team is honestly bad. I mean, like, I'm sorry, but <sighs> it's so bad. It's so, so bad. Um, we've got our riders at the front, though. Mikel Frolich uh, You know what? You, ca you can go in the break. It's fine. We're going to follow Giovanni Carboni, uh, although no one appears to be uh, leaving the peloton. So I guess status quo for now. Okay, we're in the first climb of the day, the climb of Catanzaro. Uh, we do have Joe Almeida in the breakaway. Uh, I did say that the pork, the well, the mountain jersey, sorry. Um, wait, what color is the mountain jersey? Hold up. Is it the blue one? Because I never know. It is. It is the blue one. So the blue jersey is one of my objectives on this uh, on this Giro. That's a good thing. Not having to focus on the GC for real uh, allows me to go for uh, things I wouldn't usually go for. Uh, and the mountain classification is not usually one of my main targets. Uh, but this year it is. And Joe Almeida is fighting off someone like Eros Capecchi. Although it looks to be the Italian set to take uh, the 7 points. Given at the summit of the, Satanza of the Catanzaro, the peloton is navigating around 5 minutes behind uh, James Knox being protected by Peter Seri, Fausto Massana protected by Michael Frolich Honore, and uh, everyone else is in the group. Garen Thomas is here, 8 minutes 36 down for the leader of Ineos Grenadiers. Yeah, it's it's a shame for him that he had an issue, but it's a blessing in disguise for us. And the rhythm has increased both in the peloton and in the breakaway, Drew Almeida, uh, being one of the first victims of, um, of that rhythm increase. I will most likely up the, uh, up, upgrade sorry, uh, his secondaries because, I mean, he has extremely low secondaries. For someone who is, I think, De Konang's uh, GC leader on this Giro, um, he's got 67 border, 65 stamina, 69 resistance, and 66 recuperation, or recovery, sorry. It is extremely low. Like, genuinely, one of the lowest stats I've seen for someone who is cons uh, well, fighting for a GC. Um, so, yeah, we'll most likely change that. Uh, but there is a summit attack, Salvatore Puccio, making the moves to get the, the points at the summit of the Monte Treari. Puccio's gone with Michael Bieg. Uh, Joel Meida, I mean, we won't be able to attack. So, I guess we'll just have to uh, manage it with effort. See if we can get something down the line. Uh, but we most likely won't be able to do so. Uh, the points will be for Attila Valta. Yeah. Well, I think we may have to, uh, to up the stats a bit because it's getting uh, a bit out of control. Massive crash in the group A4. Basically, the entire Bargiani team decided to crash. 
Uh, the likes of Zana, Carboni, Kovi, another crash, Marco Mafuse, Giulio Ciccone, Louis Menties, Eduard de Sepulveda, Yuki Arashiro down. Let's hope that none of them are withdrawing for their sake, and the answer is indeed no withdrawals. Um, but big, big L, Giulio Ciccone getting dropped. That is a massive loss for Vincenzo Nibali, uh, who loses his most pr uh, precious teammate, or his most crucial teammate, sorry, should I say, in, uh, well, before. The main hostilities begin. The gap is just under 4 minutes now for the breakaway. A breakaway of still 18 riders. No one got dropped from that group, uh, which is somewhat surprising. Uh, but Joan Meda is really not keen uh, on uh, on the pace of this group. Yeah, I, I don't see him doing anything. Uh, I'm not sure if the breakaway will go for the win. But should it do, should it do uh, I do not consider Joan Meda any favourite or whatsoever. And we've got our first victim in the breakaway, Eros Kapeki, dropped, uh, not sure if he's purely on pace or if he has an incident, he's had an incident, he got, uh, well, he crashed, actually, which is quite, quite sad for him. Uh, Julio Ciccone is not back in the leading group, uh, so Vincent Nibili will be not on his own, um, but he's lost his best teammate, he's, he'll still be able to count on his brother, Anthony Nibali. Gianluca Brambia is still here, decent stats for Gianluca actually, I'm pretty sure Julien Bernard is still here, at least I assume, the last time I checked, yep, there's Julien Bernard just uh, right next to Peter Venning, so that is uh, very good for him, and uh, yeah, we're gonna start this final climb, Di Valico di Montescuro, 21 kilometers, quite a long climb, uh, James Knox really well placed for some odd reason, and I do not know why, but I'm I'm loving it. I really am. Ten kilometers left, and uh, we came back on the breakaway. We came back on the breakaway. Uh, the peloton did not give a single fuck about that break, as uh, they came back like absolute mad lads at uh, the the seventeen men group. Also, uh, if James Knox could like be at the front, that'd be great. Uh, Jonathan Kaiser me, you've got, why are you paying? I'm getting dropped right now. I got dropped. Uh, I'm currently dropped. I don't like it. I do not like this. Fausto, come back. Thank you, Fausto. No, I'm gonna get blocked by fucking Jasper Hansen here. No, 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 no. I'm in a bad place. I'm in a bad place. I'm in a bad place. Come on, James. Come on, 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 come on. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. We're back in the leading group. Uh, but we've used a lot of energy coming back in the, in that peloton. Hopefully, it's not too big of a deal, and as we come back, Miguel Angel Lopez attacks with Kroivak and Vincent Tunibali. Mm-hmm. Shit. And I can't follow. Why, right, Astana, mate, you might pacing. Actually, no, you won't pace, because you've got Lopez ahead. Um, who could pace? Garint, Yates, Zakarin, someone like that. Please. Right, I've decided to increase the rhythm a bit with James Knox. And turns out it wasn't a bad shout because we came back on uh, Miguel Angel Lopez and Rafa Maica. Uh, actually, we came back on Lopez. Rafa Maica stayed with us. Um, we're going to get dropped by Krovac and Nibali. But at least we'll maintain our third position compared to Miguel Angel Lopez. And that is a crucial thing. I don't know who got the main points at the uh, Camilla Telo Silano. But even if it's Nibali, it's fine. I got third. Um, and now it's just a question of a uh, downhill. If Kroivak leads the downhill, no, but I don't want to pace because if I pace, I'm going to get dropped very quickly. I will send one on the less. Kroivak is just the one pacing. He's not even letting Vincenzo relay. That's so weird. You, you'd expect Vincenzo to, like, try to drop Kroivak in that downhill. We're going to attack with, uh, with James Knox. I mean, it's basically flat from, uh, f I mean, coming up now. So we'll see what the Brit can do. Uh, 3k left, Kroivak and Nibali preparing their final sprint. I think Nibali's got this in the bag, you know. I think Nibali's up to get his third win in three in uh, five stages, actually, on the Giro. There we go. Three and five, potentially, for the squad. Should he be able to beat Steven Kroivak today? And the answer is going to be a, a big, fat yes. Vincent Nibali wins ahead of Kroivak. James Knox is going to crack just before the line. Can he hold on for third? He will not. Miguel Angel Lopez gets third. Knox, Micah, it's fine. I get a, I'm going to lose four seconds on Miguel Angel Lopez, but it's fine. It's not too big of a deal. Um, at least I managed to gain a few seconds back on Nibelin Krovac. Okay. 
Three and five for Vincenzo Nibali, the Squalo is on top of his game on this Giro d'Italia. And it's nice to see. Um, Kroibike finishes in second place. The uh, Dutchman only rather able to uh, to follow Vincenzo. Actually, Kroibike was 10 seconds ahead of Nibali. Nibali came back at him and then beat him. Uh, and in the GC, Nibali is now 50 seconds ahead of Kroibike. 157 on James Knox, 212 on Lopez, and already nearly 4 minutes on Rafa Maika. Tanel Kangat is in 6th place, which is very peak. Uh, so yeah, the top 5 is basically in the back for James Knox. And should there be one withdrawal in the top, in the, or on the 1st or 2nd, the podium should be ours. Vincenzo increases his lead in the uh, blue jersey, or in the best climber classification. He also increases his lead in the points one. James Knox, though, still very close, only uh, 12 points behind the Squalo. James Knox uh, is yet in um, the white jersey, and that, as I said, will not change um, unless something mad happens. Uh, and the best team is now the Asana team, beating EF uh, at the end of this stage 5. Alright, James Knox in 4th place in this 5th stage of the Giro. I don't think I could have really done more. Uh, I mean, I probably would have been able to finish 3rd. Um, however, had I done that, I don't think the gap would have been 43 seconds, but mainly, uh, maybe a bit more around the, the 50, 55 second mark. So I'd rather trade 4 seconds on Lopez than 12 on um, on Nibali and Kroivak. I'm still within reach of Kroivak. Well, I mean, I'd, I was before the stage, uh, now a minute and 7 seconds behind the Dutchman, but I'm expecting him to crash in the downhill. Uh, I mean, it's, it's October, we'll most likely see some ice, there's already some, some snow on the Stelvio, so I think Kravak will be gone by that day. Uh, and uh, yeah, we've got Micah Zakarin, Tony Galopin with a very nice 7th position, he wasn't in the breakaway. Uh, so that's a 7th place, that's a legit 7th place. Tanel Kangat in 8th with Simon Yates and Garin Thomas, the two Brits, very, very disappointing. Uh, I mean, Garrett, we know he's had no intentions for the GC following his crash on stage 3. Simon Yates losing a minute 47 today. Definitely not something I expected. Especially when you consider the opposition on this tour and the riders ahead of him. No disrespect to Tanel Kangat, Galopin, or even Ilnor Zakarin. But they're riders that should not be beating Simon Yates on the mountain stage of a Grand Tour. Especially when we saw the, the, the fitness of Simon Yates on the, the Tirano. But I guess that doesn't really apply to PCM. Uh, Wilco Kelderman is in 11th with Pebulvo. Then Vlasov, Fulsang for Astana. Fausto Astana in 15th place. Jonathan Caicedo with a very solid stage for uh, the uh, Ecuadorian rider of EF. Just ahead of Lucas Hamilton. And then Lotus Dell finishing with uh, Zander Armet, Thomas Derent and Karl Hagen in 18th, 19th and 20th place respectively. GC-wise, we are still in third position. As you've seen, uh, the gaps are stable uh, I guess but the top five is definitely clearing uh, or clear I think the top four actually is quite clear um, and the, the podium will be fought between these four guys points wise nobody's in the lead mountain wise nobody's in the lead best rider you saw it was James Knox and Asna taking the lead in the mountain classification uh, classification that might change tomorrow you never know between Castroviari and Matera 188 kilometers for a hilly stage of this stage 6 of the Giro, a finish that could suit someone like Ballerini. Yes, I know, I'm saying it every week or every day, but I really believe it. <laughs> I really believe in it. Uh, and I hope that you guys will be there to, uh, to watch that finish, to make sure to do so. Then please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you're new around here, then please do leave a like down below. That would really, really mean a lot to me. And I shall catch you in the very near future. But my name has been Blackwell. Have an incredible day and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. All them other man need feeding. I don't wanna go bomb Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip blockbuster.